The billionaire race to space is on, and just six days from now, Sir Richard Branson's set to take off. He plans to beat both Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk, flying to the edge of space this weekend with five other people. NBC's Com Tom Costello got a behind-the-scenes look at Branson's spaceport in New Mexico. In a remote, desolate spot in the New Mexico desert, billionaire Richard Branson's dreams are about to come true. I always envisioned as a kid that a, a spaceship should be, it should look like this. Yeah. You did. Uh, you envisioned this when you were a kid. I, 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 I just thought that's how you, how you should fly to space. After nearly two decades of hard work and tragedy, Branson is about to launch to the edge of space on a ship dubbed Unity, first carried by a mothership named after his own mother, Eve. So your ship drops from the bottom of that wing. You light the rocket. Fire. Fire. And then you're off to the races. Three and a half thousand miles an hour in eight seconds. So straight up. That's all. Three thousand and eight. Yeah, that's easy. It's easy. <laughs> it's going to be quite a ride. Branson has wanted to go to space since watching the Apollo 11 moon landing. After building his Virgin Empire, he started Virgin Galactic with the dream of taking everyday civilians 50 miles high to the edge of space for a weightless experience and a once in a lifetime view. Wow, look at that view. Gorgeous. At that moment, we will have become astronauts. Um, uh, I will pinch myself <laughs> and, and pinch myself again and again. You can't wait. I can't wait. It's taken 17 years to get here. In 2014, a tragedy struck when a test pilot was killed in a horrific accident. Now, after redesigns and safety delays, all systems are go for a Sunday launch. For years, 70-year-old Branson has been strenuously training. I've managed to build some muscles so that my spacesuit, they, they realize they're going to have to get... You're bursting at the seams here. <laughs> they're going to have to get me a bigger spacesuit. And there's bragging rights. Another billionaire, Jeff Bezos, and his space company, Blue Origin, are also about to launch. When Bezos announced he would fly on July 20th... It changes your relationship with this planet, with humanity. Virgin quickly announced Branson would fly on the 11th, beating Bezos by nine days. Is there a little competition with Bezos? <laughs> I, I know nobody will believe me when I say it, but honest, honestly, there isn't. In fact, he says the world needs both space tourism companies. Already, 700 people have signed up to ride on Branson's ship, some paying $250,000, including big names like Tom Hanks, Justin Bieber, and Lady Gaga. Joining Branson on this passenger test flight, three other Virgin employees. Fire, fire. Now all four are in their final training sessions for launch. I did the spinning cups at Disney World. Is that good enough to prepare me for this? <laughs> you, you, you look very fit, very healthy, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, we would love to have you on board one day. Oh, really? How soon? Because <laughs> well, I'm up for it. If I was you, I would just you know, just stow away. I mean, I, 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 I've, I've always I, I've always dreamt of stowing away on something, and uh, a space, well, nobody's ever tried a spaceship yet. <laughs> for the news, I'm Tom Costello. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.